Hey everyone, I hope your Saturday has been excellent and you're having a great evening. So, um, I've already, um, I've done several videos on how to find your <coughs> undertone, um, you know, and your shade, um, fair light, medium, and also your foundation. I've done that with e.l.f. and L'Oreal and ColourPop. And today we are looking at Maybelline. So, um, on Maybelline's homepage, at the very top of the page, the first thing you, that you see, uh, one portion of it, um, is virtual try on and this is what that looks like then the next one is foundation <laughs> shade binder and that is what that was like so what we are going to do um, is take a look at foundation shade binder so the next, um, when you click Foundation Shade Finder, <laughs> this comes up. All right. And it says Start. So we're going to do that. You start, you start. Then, hey, you've come to the right place to find your foundation. And all it takes is a selfie. And then, ready? Let's do it. So, I clicked that. All right. One more thing. By taking your photograph and using Maybelline New York Foundation, <coughs> excuse me, binder, your image will be temporarily stored less than 24 hours by our application. Your image will be available to you on your local device as long as you keep it. For more, um, your image will be available to you on your local device as long as you keep it. For more information, see our privacy policy. And then I consent to processing of my image by Maybelline New York set out in the privacy policy. And then... Um, a bar at the bottom says agree. All right, that is in there. So, next, um, underneath agree, it says use foundation finder without my photo. That's what I did. All right, so the next thing, that's what I clicked. I'm not using my photo. So, there are two things you can do. If you've changed your mind, you can still use a selfie. You can go back to give your permission, or you can continue without a selfie if you prefer. And, um, I said, I'm not using a selfie. So, this is what that said. All right. And this is what I did. I did not use the selfie. So, okay, all you have to do is answer a couple. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, a couple quick questions to get your match. First, check out these tones and tap to select the one that's closest to your skin. Turning, turning up the brightness on your screen gets you the best result. So. And I disagree, it did not change turning up the brightness. 
did not do much. So, uh, this is what they give you. Um, they give you these um, shades, all right? And it gets darker at the end. I'll show you that in a minute. I clicked the pink, which is first. And this is what it looks like at the very end. So, all right. So after I click the pink, awesome. Next up is your undertone. Check out the veins on your wrist. Which color is closest match? All right. So mine are blue. So I clicked on the blue that's in the middle. All right. I click the blue. All right. And then next. All right. Great. Now, which one of these spaces has a close match in skin tone compared to yours? So they show a model and there are three different models with this with what I picked. So um, the next one is this model and the next one is this model. Okay. So I chose um, the first model. I chose the first model and this is what they told me. Your best match fit me shine free Balance Stick Foundation 110 Porcelain. 110 Porcelain is a warm foundation. It's yellow. So that won't work for me. So I go back and I um, use the second model as photo. And um, this is what they said. Oh, and also in there, after you pick a model, they give, ask you which kind of foundation, light, medium, or full. And I chose full. So um, every time uh, you pick a model, they ask you what type of foundation. So um, they ask you, they say, now let's pick your coverage. Do you prefer light, medium, or full? So that's what I did. And then... They came back with Super State Longwear Liquid Foundation up to 30 hour wear in 125 nude beige. All right. All right. So that's, that's too dark for me. All right. So, so then I went back and chose the last model. All right. And I click full. And this is what they did. Super Stay Liquid Foundation up to 30 hour wear 127 sand beige. Which is again too dark. And it may, uh, the last two Super Stays may be a warm also. But I didn't, uh, I didn't go back to look at that. So this is what I did. After this last one, I went back and changed the color, uh, the wrist color to purple. All right. Because I wanted to see what that would do. So, and I have not used this program before. So I clicked that and they gave me this. Great. Now, which one of these faces has the closest match in skin tone compared to yours? There's this model. All right. And one more model. All right. So this is the second model for purple. Okay. So now let's pick your coverage again, medium or full. That's what it says. And I picked full. And I also picked the, um, she looks blonde to me, but I don't know. All right. So then, um, they give me. Your best match, Super Stay Long Wear Liquid Foundation, up to 30 hour wear, and um, 112 Natural Ivory. 
All right. I can't. I don't know if you can see the letters underneath where it gives the foundation, but it's 112 Natural Library. Okay. So, um, what I did was I went back to the other model that they used and um, I chose her and um, um, I chose this model instead and then um, they gave me Super Stay, your best match, Super Stay Longwear Liquid Foundation, up to 30 hour wear, 118 light beige. Okay, so out of the program, all right, of the first part of the program was picking blue in this, uh, of the color of my veins, picking blue. And they gave me three different models, all of which gave me foundations that were um, yellow or too dark. And they may be yellow. I don't know. I haven't looked yet. So, um, um, blue is not a yellow foundation. Okay, blue and purple are cool foundations. So, then... The only reason I went and picked purple the second time was because, you know, I check things out. So I knew immediately that green was not going to work for me. So it was going to either be blue or purple. I shouldn't have to go to purple to find a cool foundation. Blue is as much cool as uh, purple is. So out of all of the models that they have on Maybelline site um, in this program, 112 Natural Ivory is the closest to to my um, to my Super Stay color. I'll show you my Super Stay color. I have Super Stay. My Super Stay that I wear, which is a cool foundation. Okay, I'll show you what it is. My super stay color. This is my. This is my super stay foundation. All right. And the color is 105 Fair Ivory. 112 is the closest to what I actually use. All right. So. The 112 was better. It was better. Okay. But I had to go through four models before I got to the one that was even closest to me. And it still, it still wasn't completely accurate. And, you know, in my opinion, that is not, that's not good. That's not very good. Especially since blue is not a warm I, I kind of understand why they did that because for neutrals, neutrals, for people that wear neutral foundations, um, um, their veins are uh, green and blue. But um, blue, though, by itself is not a warm, it's not warm, it's cool. So um, this was the. The 112 Natural Ivory was the closest, and it was from this model. All right. I had, I wouldn't have even gone in to um, uh, this section where these, the other models are, if I wouldn't have clicked on the purple. But because I know that blue and purple are both, both cool, and I was only getting yellow foundations with the blue I picked purple so I clicked on that and I finally got one it's it's one bottle up from the one I have so that's better it's better but this tells me though that this program uh it 
it's not like Elf, and it's not like L'Oreal. They give you multiple choice, you know, they have you pick, um, you know, they ask certain questions, and then you get the, a choice of which one is you. With this, you don't get that. You have to pick out a model and hope it's right. And, um, and then with the colors, <coughs> blue is cool. Blue, they'll say uh, cool undertones have blue or blue and purple veins. So they do go by blue. Warm undertones are green and neutral undertones are blue and green. So um, when I pick blue, that's what I have. When I picked blue, they gave me warm foundations. So um, what they're doing is relying on, instead of actually giving you, you know, um, you choose, they give you several options and you choose the one that is you, they're relying on their models to give you their to give you the answer. That's not good. I don't like that. Now they do have the option of virtual try on, but I didn't do that. I don't like the idea of uploading a selfie to a program. There's no guarantee it will get um, you know the foundation right. And all of the programs I've used don't give any instructions on how to use them. So, um, I don't like Maybelline's How to Find Your Foundation shade at all. Um, and they gave me the wrong foundation shade. So, um, now in my Super Stay Powder, in my Super Stay Powder, I use well because it's the lightest it's the lightest uh, cool that they have in the powder um, but if I could get it in 105 I would um, that is 105 yeah if I could get it in fair ivory I would so granted it's not you know it's only a color up from the one I have that's a lot better a lot better than the foundations they were giving me um, so they have already decided what you are based on their models over what you truly need so in my opinion Maybelline's how to find your you know shade <coughs> undertones all of that uh so they can give you the foundation that works for you in my opinion um the shade finder um you know is not a good one so i don't recommend i don't recommend their program the way they have it now if they turn change that to multiple choice each question and ask you like l'oreal's does or one similar to elf now see elf's program elf has a program right underneath um the foundations it says find your shade you know so that you can find your um foundation and the program works really well and if you're not certain about the program you can have a live consultation with a makeup artist i like that one but this one, in my opinion, is not, um, I don't like it. I don't like the way it works. Um, I don't recommend it. <laughs> Excuse me. So, um, even L'Oreal's works better, far better than this. So, um, in my opinion, either use Elf's, Elf to find your, um, um, undertone and um you know fair light <laughs> excuse me tan and so on um or l'oreal's uh l'oreal has one 
I did two videos on both of them, and I will be putting them in the, descript um, the description box so you can look at them. All right, but I cannot um, recommend uh, Maybelline, but <coughs> I'm not recommending the virtual try-on either because I don't know how it works, and I'm not going in there. I've not had a good experience with any virtual try-on, so I don't like those either. So, um, I do recommend ELF's program and Life Consultation and L'Oreal's program. So, everyone, that is all for this video. I'm still checking brands and looking at their... Um, um, how to find your foundation. Um, I will be looking at other brands uh, upcoming and whatever, if they have uh, anything, I will be doing a video on those brands. So, um, I think that's all. Um, I've done this before with CoverGirl somewhat to True Blind Matte Maid, <coughs> and also uh, Revlon, Revlon, but Revlon's was in the store, and um, I'll put that, I'll find that in my on my channel and, and put it in the description box so you can see it. All right, everyone, that is all for this video. Have a great evening, have a great weekend, and I will see you in my next video.